I woke up at night at 2 a.m. There were massive, massive bombs. So when I woke up second time in the morning, I just said to my mate, let's go and check it out. There were cluster bombs. So here's a video uh, of the aftermath of uh, this morning's last night's bombing. I have to ask you to like, subscribe, share, donate if you can. The most important thing is just share, share, share around because this is a story that's untold by all mainstream media. There's nobody to report it here. I apologize, it's going to take me too long to put subtitles. Uh, my mate translated live most of what was said, but if you want to hear everything, then watch it on YouTube and just put the automatic uh, Russian to English subtitles. Here it is. We're going now uh, to uh, all night, actually all night I was bombing. It was actually the first time uh, the bombs woke me up at night and in the morning. Cluster bombs, you know, illegal by any stretch of the imagination. Uncivilian uh, neighborhoods. And here we are, you can see the absolutely no military activity. Uh, so yeah, we're going to the side now, we'll see what happens. What happened uh, last night? Why do you think it was so heavy last night? I just heard a lot of uh, in guns. Three minutes ago. Okay. And we have some damage here, so... Okay. Can, can you tell what they're saying? Do they mind that film? Просто представить его тоже. Журналист к нам приехал из Австралии первый. Тоже очень болеет за нас. Просит, ну, хочет разрешения спросить, можно ли ему поспрашивать. Да, тоже. пускай спрашивает, ради бога, мы что сможем ответить. Ну, в два часа где-то ночью. Кто клок и не знает? С двух до трех. С двух до трех и бахали все. Особенно сильный был последний прилет. Такое ощущение было, как будто, знаете, когда вот... Ну, это кассетно, это точно, потому что... А вы тогда вот пройдите вот дальше, так вот по этой вот, по, по дороге, там ямки, на ней лежит даже кассетные, не разорвавшиеся. Вот здесь вот пройдите по этой вот дороге, mm. посмотрите. Ну, у нас, конечно, здесь машина, здесь машина. Машина Стрелка, горела, да. Света до сих пор у нас mm. нет. Бегала. Is this uh, just civilian neighborhood here? Uh, здесь же... Только частные мирные дома. Мирные жители, да, у нас да, здесь мирные. никого нет, абсолютно мирные, мирные дома, у нас здесь ничего нет такого. Ну это уже не первый раз нам достается. И вчера ну, днем... Да, но вот у него тоже вопрос будет, какая цель это по-вашему, как, зачем они сейчас стреляют? Ну, как у нас сегодня день незалежности, проклятый. Вот, и они нас перед днем незалежности нас тут обстреливали. Вчера. Вчера. А сегодня, вот ну, в смысле, ночью. ночью. Это же они, понимаете, это хамская. Ой, не хочу говорить. Вы просто для них не люди. Вот тут машина горела, да. Да, и вот, да, посмотрите, вот, 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 ну, а такой подожди, подожди, вот вот там... успели пожарные приехать. Нет, нет, сами, нет, тушили. Сами, тушили. сами потушили. Внук мой бегал с водой. Ну, нас то проснулись а все в два ночи, непонятно все, от чего. уже спать не могли, собака бедная заснуть не может. Ну, а что, потому что от страха все. Кошка спряталась. Вот у нас этот, здесь у нас не первые прилеты, у нас вот здесь вот погибли Там, люди. Погиб вот. человек вот в том доме. Это дом с той стороны, вот особенно до этого, когда вот был, вот до этого прилет сильно. Вот второй этаж, там погибли у нас тоже люди. Я не знаю, тут у нас, у нас здесь мирный район, у нас здесь нет ни воинской части, ничего абсолютно. So they're saying it's a total civilian area, and no military uh, targets here. So, but they keep on shooting. Some people were killed in the neighborhood. Uh, we can go forward and see some more damage of yesterday show. And uh, why do they stay? Why do they stay? 
куда мы едем? Это наша земля, наш дом родной. Мы здесь живем с 59 -го года. Это мой дом, моя родина. Куда я уже уеду? И кому мы, мы где нужны? Скажите, пожалуйста. Никому не где. She don't want to destroy relatives in other like cities, you. but uh, she only hope she has it here. This is her home, like she was born here. Okay. 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 So there was some shells which not exploded, she said, but okay. maybe it was taken, maybe not. Okay. The car was damaged here. She said. Okay. Yeah, this happened just today at 2 a.m. in the morning. People, you see, he's changing tires now because it's broken. Yeah. Вот пение горожено. Пение горожено, видно, уже забрали. Это было здесь, но еще здесь. Будь осторожно, да? Где? Да, вот тут. А, я, окей. Это не так, это просто... Ну, счастливого. Да, спасибо, да. Потому что другие вещи не для этого момента. Окей. Здесь есть как это работает. Много таких... Small uh, bombs spread and explode and uh, hitting uh, different places, which are not armor. Yeah, uh, only for for uh, for body for. Let's see if we can catch it. Okay. Ah, you speak a bit of English? Uh, a little. What happened here in the, last night? Uh, this is bombing yeah. of the Donetsk. Yeah. from Ukrainian forces okay uh, and uh, two hours p.m. 2 p.m. yeah PM. 2 a.m. 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 I'm sorry yeah don't perfect English <laughs> yeah it's okay uh, not perfect Russian <laughs> yeah. Yeah. so uh, this is what what is this a uh, cluster bomb this is cluster bomb yeah. so you can see many small pieces everywhere it's only designed to hurt uh, people it's not designed to to do any military damage. How long has it been been going the bombing? Uh, one hour. No, historically, how? Uh, uh, how long? When did it all start? Uh, from. Uh, 2014. Because yeah. in, in my country, most people think that it only started last year. No, no, it started uh, in 2014. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, after Ukrainian Maidan. After Maidan. Kiev Maidan. Yes. And uh, the people decided here they still want to speak Russian and be Russian. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, the, uh, no. Причина, да, но после Майдана тут такой был прецедент, то есть. Это русский или транслировать? Ну просто Майдан начался, люди в Донецке не согласились с политикой Майдана, потому что она была настроена агрессивно по отношению к русскоязычным населению и русскоязычной культуре, ну даже к советской к советскому наследию, к советскому прошлому, таким праздникам, как День Победы, к советским героям, которые выиграли фактически Великую Отечественную войну. Поэтому после Одессы 2 мая, когда сожгли людей, на Майдане тоже расстреляли людей западные снайперы. В Донецке бомбили с 26 мая украинские самолеты, вертолеты, аэропорт Донецкий. Что еще? Славянск бомбили, тоже бронетехника, люди вручную останавливали. Имеется в виду, он про причину спрашивает, что вот, понятно, тут... то есть, да, что ты причину сказал. So he also told the reason that the, the new government which is came was against Russian culture, everything against our history, people didn't agree here.
so there was issues started from uh, Maidan, people were killed, then Odessa, then in Donetsk airport, they started using military force. So, that's how it works. So, nine, nine years of bombing now. Yeah. Ten, 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 ten years of bombing. We are going to the ten years of bombing. Ten years of bombing. And how you feel? Still strong? Uh, no. We are afraid. Mm -hmm. He's afraid. So. Afraid, afraid, afraid. I understand this, yeah. This is uh... Uh, Afraid because... Because... Сейчас вспомню школьный урок английского языка. Потому что это... Страшно. Страх. Нервное напряжение. Tension, fear, skips, push. I think uh, I cannot imagine how I would feel after 10 years of I'm only here uh, almost two weeks and every day and it's uh, 10 years I cannot even start to... Uh... Ten years underground. <laughs> in underground in underground yeah. yeah and look so many of the people that are here are elderly people uh, <coughs> that really cannot go anywhere else you know okay thank you very much oh. i wish you all the best thank really. you for you i i wish you all the best yeah. glory to australia <laughs> thank you So yeah, it was, you saw a short slide, you see, but they, they have the same ropes on that things. So yeah, yeah, it yeah, be, yeah, it was. Uh, part of the bombs. Don't too. touch it. <laughs> Here they go. You see some pieces of, it was yeah. exploded here. And, yeah. Uh, okay. You see the pieces of trees yeah. on the wall. Yeah, yes. Hey, this was just all a few hours ago. Uh, sorry, I don't want to. Uh, can you tell him? I apologize. No, I see it. Not <laughs> uh, can we talk a word with him? Uh, I'm, I'm not. Uh, Australia. Приехал к нам, просится у вас что-нибудь спросить, если у вас как. We very glad to see you. I'm also very glad to see you, and I'm uh, very sad what happened here uh, to your house. C can you tell us what happened uh, last night? Uh, Говорит, да, очень грустно видеть, что произошло с вашим домом. Спрашивают, что произошло, можете ли вы рассказать? Ну, сейчас я выйду. Окей, okay, come out. This, this, you see the boss. Now, what you can see here is all these small bomblets that come. I am sorry, Завид такой. Okay. Uh, very nice to meet you, Johnny from Australia. Сергей. Yes, uh, what happened last night here? Ну, это было где-то два часа ночи примерно. Начался обстрел биндокассетными этими. Ну, долго продолжался. Все время разрывы, разрывы. У меня жена дома очень испугалась. Вот сюда прилетела видно кассета и оттуда вот. Рикошетом ударилось что-то. Отлетело. Understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, bomb. Yeah. A couple uh, bombs uh, fall here, exploded. Yeah. And, uh, uh, this is a damage. Вот the the yeah, yeah. Сюда. Yeah. And where were they when it happened? Where, where was Где him, and it, him and his, uh... Так где дома? They were sleeping. Yeah. And is there any damage inside or just the windows and внутри тоже что-то повредилось в квартире или только окна? Нет, настроенные окна, поэтому вот это вот с внешней стороны. Ну вот там вот идеал есть магазин, магазин это идеал, шоп. Там вообще второй этаж весь. Ходил в аптеку. <coughs> Там вообще все. Here is a neighbor shop. The second floor was burned out. Not ну, свет, естественно, света нету. 
Но електричество не е като системечето. Да, електричество. Ето регулярно так происходи, постоянно. It happens so all the time, regular shots. Okay. How long has this been happening? Ask him. Как давно это вообще происходит? У них в Австралии люди, многие думают, что это только началось год назад. Нет, это происходит с лета 14 года, с весны даже. И спринг, знаете, 14. Фоти. Это уже происходит почти 10 лет. Almost 10 years. And how are they coping? How are they coping? Uh, how coping? How are they managing? Как вы с этим справляетесь? Ну, как так вот так живем. А что делать? Что мы со своей земли должны убегать куда-то? We don't want to run away from our home. Yeah. So the, then we doing what we can to survive. Okay. Does he have a family here? What's this family? Yeah, I have a wife. 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 And there are also two daughters, a son with a wife, but they are in Macau. Yeah, also part of his family is a little bit safer in Macau. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Makievka, by the way, is a suburb. We all, what, almost nine, a little bit more than ten years, here we are. It's all time under siege. So, for all of this time, they keep on staying here and always. What? On the other side, there's a dump, five-story. There was a flight there, also, a couple of months ago, two or three years ago. Дважды прилет тоже. С той стороны там тоже осколок попал на, в окно. И мой товарищ тут рядом живет. У него тоже выбило все. Вся семья убежала. Уехала в Ростов. Так все время продолжается. Left, uh, Никаких военных объектов нет. Они бомбят больницу Вишневска. Там роддом рядом. He said here is no military objects. They shooting the hospital, which is neighbor here, and also the birth house. Uh, this. Oh, really? Yeah. So the maternity ward, basically, in English we call maternity ward, where people uh, give birth. You know. So that's that's the. Can you imagine that? That's the target. You know, the hospital and the maternity ward. Yeah, the machine. Yeah. Yeah. Machine, mirror, and everything. Do you see any prospect of peace in the in the near future? Как будущее я вижу. Видите ли, да, возможность будущего, ну, вернее, возможность мира в будущем какого-то. Ну, будущее, но понятие растяжимое. Год, два, три, десять, сколько? Вот мне уже под семьдесят. Пока война длится. Какое может быть будущее, если не знаешь, что с тобой будет через час? Мы живем, живем надеждой, что это все прекратится. I mean, no, he have, but he don't know what will be in an hour, so he cannot yeah, think I, for future. I understand. Okay, thank you very much. God bless you. Uh, I wish you all the best. Thank you. Спасибо. Всего вам доброго. Good luck. Thank you very much. Okay. One more here, you see? Yeah. No, so much. Yeah. Pretty, pretty, a uh, lot of damage. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah. That's the idea of cluster bombs. Sasha, don't walk in the long grass. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to carry you out. You know, I have a bad back, so I can't carry you out.
хочу рассказать, я уже ступа Can I go inside or the shop? Or can I just go inside the shop? Yeah, you can smell still all the burning. I'm staying a few hundred meters from here and uh, I can tell you, it was very, very loud. Very, very loud. Uh, okay, 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 okay. So here we are, as you can see, the shop has just been uh, yeah. Unfortunately. So they're clearing up, they're cleaning up so in order to Okay, I see. So the, by the way this is you can see there's a big, great shortage of water so people come here in these big tanks and they fill their water. Let's go. As you can see, it's all, all civilian infrastructure and uh, I've been here almost two weeks. I haven't seen one military installation and one military uh, and like just, just terror on civilians. And this is the local shop where all the civilians you can see get their water, their eggs, their bread, everything. You want to go? Yeah, yeah, go. Uh, here. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Just, uh, the Everything burned out. And here you can see the damage. completely destroyed looks like this was a home or an office uh, I can see yeah, yeah, it was an office the shop what is the office of the shop got a direct hit last night but fire workers were here in 20 minutes they said. yeah <laughs> you can smell water and uh, like uh, also, it's also a thing about them, you know, they're coming even on the show. Yeah, I mean, the fire. Terror, total terror. Terror on civilians. Look, I. I'm actually saying wrong all the time, I'm saying nine years, but it's actually 10th year, we're in the 10th year of this terror. And they're gonna clean up, they're gonna do whatever repairs they need to do, and the shop will probably be open in two, three days, or downstairs. Like, no. no? Yeah, what? In this, this time, you know, see they taking out everything. Yeah, okay. So. Maybe it was... Ah, because they need to, to repair all this roof now and everything. Yeah, the, bu the building must be uh, repaired partly. Yeah. Okay. And... You have to understand, this is just another night of terror in Donetsk. It's not a night, it's another night of, of almost 3,000, more than 3,000 nights, basically. Just get some small picture. 
I mean, this is a really, really good image here of the destruction. You can see still... Uh... Yeah, still smoldering. So here is the hospital. Ah, this is the hospital? Yeah. So that's what they're aiming from? Yeah, we can, on the hospital territory, we will see a lot of damage too. We must go there. Okay. This is very big hospital. A lot of different buildings. So this is one of them, it's corner, and then it's like there and there, it's all hospital. What do you think the idea of targeting a hospital just to scare the civilians even more? Mm, yeah, well, because I mean, even even for some of people left after yeah, leaving after. No, because you think even from their point of view, from their public relations, this is very bad public relations to target yeah, a hospital. It doesn't show it. You cannot see it in uh, Western media. So as you can see, we walked, I think, this shop that's been destroyed, it's 30 meters from the hospital. You know, it just took us about 50 steps to walk into the hospital grounds. So obviously the hospital was the target, is the target. And the maternity ward, you know, it's where the woman gave birth in Donetsk. Yeah, it was under shelling many times. And pretty good damage. I mean, I think you would uh, wonder why. Why would anybody in their right mind... Uh, you see also this piece of, piece of what we found before. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's some sort of piece connected to the cluster bombs. You've yeah, seen right. them around. Yeah. Yeah, so for his this hospital. Yeah, this is the hospital. Look, this is a piece of yesterday's cluster bomb. This is the hospital. You can see the windows. Do you see anywhere in mainstream media this footage of? what's really happening in Donetsk. Ah, here we go, all the glass. So this is what cluster bombs do. And this is the emergency room. <laughs> but the uh, relief crews, they come very fast, huh? And uh, yeah, yeah. They probably by the morning it was most. Yeah, it's, it's because of experience, you know. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes journalists are. Uh, cannot work. They need a yeah. couple of hours to get to the place of shelling, but when yeah. they get there... It's already, all, it's already all cleaned up, huh? But you can't clean up all the holes of the cluster bombs. So that's... Sometimes we came and saw the new asphalt. Really? Already? <laughs> already put in it. Every day the civilians here flirt between, uh, between life and death. Even the bomb falling one meter to one side. Keep it for yourself, for history. This is not a souvenir I need. Yeah. <laughs> we have no others usually here. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a souvenir I need, a piece, a piece from a cluster bomb. You try to present me a piece of a dialect. But just imagine, just say I want to show it. I mean, this flying at... Uh, ultra high speed into one's body it can kill easily of course it can cut the body yeah and this is here we go a piece of the cluster bomb most uh, has been cleaned already but uh, 
as you can see it's still uh, and like I said again and again it's still the vulnerable that live here the elderly uh, some young people but a lot of people who have a chance they just move to somewhere else not even necessarily uh, away from the Donbass but just to another town or suburb of uh, Donetsk that is not so bombed you know looks like here even some damage inside people are clearing some stuff this is not a special day in Donetsk this is just a normal day in Donetsk just a day that it happened really late and we decided in the morning to come and check it out this population has been terrorized now for 10 years and the only crime is wanting to maintain their identity as ethnic Russians it all started in the 2014 coup in the Maidan until then they never had a wish to even separate from Ukraine or have autonomy or anything like that but the moment their basic rights were taken away they said enough and is enough we are Russian, we will speak Russian and if you don't let us we'll be free from you ten years on the bombing never stops the terrorizing never stops and they all pray together that this will end one day soon